Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reading a book called Ricky Ricardo's Mighty Robots vs. the Mutant Mosquitoes from Mercury. This is the second book and in a past video I made the first book and this is the second one. So let's begin. Chapter 1, Ricky and his robot. Once there was a mouse named Ricky Ricardo who lived in Squeakyville with his mother and father. Ricky Ricardo might have been the smallest mouse around but he had the biggest best friend in, in town. Chapter 2, School Days. Ricky and his mighty robot liked to go to school together. Sometimes when Ricky was running late, his robot would fly him straight to the front door. After school, the mighty robot liked to help Ricky with his homework. The computers, the computer brains could solve complex math problems. Nine times nine, and then his eyes are saying 81. His finger had a built-in pencil sharpener. He could even rem remove his telescope eyeball, mate, which made studying the plants much easier. Wow, said Ricky, I can see all the way to Mercury. That's cool. Chapter 3, Mr. M Mosquito Hates Mercury. Mercury was the smallest planet in the solar system, and he was the closest to the planet, and it was the closest planet to the sun, but it was cer certainly was not cool. Just ask Mr. M Mr. Mosquito. He lived on Mercury and he hated everything about it. He hated the long, hot, the long, long hot days. Each day on Mercury, the temperature rose to more than 800 degrees. Mr. Mosquito couldn't even walk down the street because his flip flops always melted on the sidewalk. Mr. Mr. Mosquito hated Mercury's long, long cold nights too. Each night on Mercury, the temperature dropped to almost 300 degrees below zero. Mis Mr. Mosquito couldn't even brush his teeth because his toothpaste always fro froze solid. I've g g got to get 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 away from fr from this this awful p p p planet," said Mr. Mosquito, shivering in the cold. So Mr. Mosquito looked at his view screen and saw the planet Earth. He saw the mice playing happily on cool autumn days. Then he saw them sleeping soundly on warm nights. Earth is the planet for me, said Mr. Mosquito. Soon it will be mine. Chapter 4, Mr. Mosquito makes his move. Mr. Mosquito went to his secret laboratory and clipped his filthy fingernails. He put his clip the clippings into a giant machine and zapped them with a powerful ray. Then Mos Mr. Mosquito's fingernails grew and grew and grew into massive mutant mosquitoes. Gi Mr. Mosquito climbed aboard his spaceship and called to his troops. Mutant mosquitoes, he cried. It is time to conquer Earth. Follow me. And they did. Chapter 5, The Mosquitoes Attack. When the mosquitoes got to Earth, he ordered the mutant, his mutant mosquitoes to attack Squeakyville. Ricky and was in his math class that afternoon. He looked out the window and saw the mutant mosquitoes. Uh oh, said Ricky. This looks like Squeakyville. It looks like Squeakyville needs our help. He raised his hand. Maybe excuse, Ricky said. His teacher, me and my robot have to save Earth. Not until you finished your math test, said Ricky's teacher. Ricky had three problems left. What is two times three, he asked himself. Two times three is really easy, it is six. Ricky's robot was waiting outside. He wanted to help. So he dashed to the teacher's parking lot and brought out, brought back some cars. Ricky's robot put three cars onto a pile, and he put three cars into another. Ricky looked at the piles of cars. Two piles of three cars, and said Ricky, two times three equals six. Ricky looked at the next question. What is six minus five? It is one, he asked. Ricky's robot just knew what to do. He threw five cars back at the into the parking lot. I get it, said Ricky. Six minus five equals one. Ricky's last question was the hardest of all. What is one divided by two? That was easy, said Ricky. One divided by two equals one and a half. Slice a smash. Ricky handed the test. Then he climbed out of the window. Let's go, mighty robot, said Ricky. We've got to save the, the earth. M m m m m my car, said Rick, cried Ricky's teacher. <laughs> Chapter 6, the heroes arrive. Ricky and his mighty robot ran downtown to pick face the mutant mosquitoes. The mosquitoes attacked his Ricky's robot. Hey, said Ricky, ro said Ricky, four against one is not fair. 
Then Ricky had an idea. Come with me, robot, said Ricky. The robot, the mighty robot was busy fighting. He could not follow Ricky, but his arm could stretch it very far. Ricky and his robot arm stretched all the way to the Bugs Away spray factory. Ricky told one of the robot's arm to grab one of the huge Buck Spray storage tanks. Then they headed back to the battle. Chapter 7, A Buggy Battle. Whoosh, clank. All right, mighty robot, let's dust these crops. Wham, crunk. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Wham, ready or not, here I come. No, no, no. Rrr. Huff, 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 huff. Uh-oh. Smash, boing, twang. Swish, swizzy, swizzle, swash. Bzz, bzz, bzz. But, boing. No, I, ah. Yeah. Wump. Go get a mighty robot. The robot shook the tank of bug spray. The robot sprayed the mosquitoes. Then he broke up the, the buggy battle with the blast from his binoc boot. Chapter 8, Mr. Mosquito's Revenge. The mutant mosquitoes had been defeated. Ricky's mighty robot chased them into space. The mosquitoes flew back to Mercury and never bothered anybody again. Mr. Mosquito was very angry. He grabbed Ricky and took him into the spaceship. Help me, Robot, Ricky cried. But it was too late. Mr. Mosquito chained up Ricky. Then he went to his control panel and pulled a secret lever. Suddenly, the spaceship began to change. It shifted it grew and grew and transformed into a giant mecha mosquito. The mecha mosquito attacked Ricky's mighty robot, but Ricky's robot would not fight back. He knew that Ricky was inside the mecha mosquito, and he did not want to did not want his best friend to get hurt. You want so you won't fight back, eh? No problem. I you just made this made my job a lot easier. No, 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 no! Say goodbye, mighty robot. Pow! The mecha mosquito pounded Ricky's robot. What could Ricky do? Ricky thought and thought. Then he had an idea. Mr. Mosquito. Said Ricky, I have to go to the bathroom. Not now, said Mr. Mosquito. I'm too busy beating up your robot. But it's emergency, said Ricky. All right, said, all right, all right, said Mr. Mosquito. He unlocked Ricky's change and led him to the boys' bathroom. Hurry up in there, he yelled. Inside the bathroom, Ricky opened a window and stuck his head outside. Psst, Ricky whispered. The robot saw Ricky and held out his giant hand. Ricky jumped. I'm safe, said Ricky. Now it will be a fair fight. Chapter 9. Ricky's robot strikes back. Inside the Mecha Mosquito, Mr. Mosquito was getting very angry. He knocked on the bathroom door. Let's hurry up in there! He yelled. I've got a d- Kerpow! Ricky's robot punched the Mecha Mosquito right in the face. Mr. Mosquito leaped control panel and fought back hard. The final battle was about to begin. Chapter 10, The Final Battle and Flippy Rama. The Mecha Mosquito attacked. Ricky's robot fought back. The Mecha Mosquito battled hard. Ricky's robot battled harder. Ricky's robot saved the day. Chapter 11, Justice Prevails. The Mecha Mosquito had been destroyed and Ricky Rizakata's mighty robot was victorious. Mr. Mosquito crawled out of his damaged ship and began to cry. What a bad day I am having, cried Mr. Mosquito. It's about to get worse, said Ricky. Ricky's mighty robot picked up Mr. Mosquito and dropped him into Squeakyville Jail. Then Ricky's mighty robot flew home for chocolate milk and grilled cheese sandwiches. You boys saved the world again, said Ricky's mother. Yes, said Ricky's father. Thank you for sticking together and fighting for what was right. No problem, said Ricky. That's what friends are for. Yep, we finished these two books. And the next one is going to be the video vultures from Venus. Vin Venus. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, comment your opinion, and give a thumbs up. I'll see you in our next video. Bye!